In physics, a force is said to do work if, when acting, there is a displacement of the point of application in the direction of the force. For example, when a ball is held above the ground and then dropped, the work done on the ball as it falls is equal to the weight of the ball a force multiplied by the distance to the ground a displacement. Work transfers energy from one place to another, or one form to another. According to Jammer, the term work was introduced in 1826 by the French mathematician Gaspard Gustave Coriolis as, "...weight lifted through a height", which is based on the use of early steam engines to lift buckets of water out of flooded ore mines. According to Dugas, it is to Solomon of Cox that we owe the term work in the sense that it is used in mechanics now". The SI unit of work is the joule J. <laughs> <laughs> units The SI unit of work is the joule J, which is defined as the work expended by a force of 1 newton through a displacement of 1 meter. The dimensionally equivalent newton meter (nm) is sometimes used as the measuring unit for work, but this can be confused with the unit newton meter, which is the measurement unit of torque. Usage of Nm is discouraged by the SI authority, since it can lead to confusion as to whether the quantity expressed in Newton meters is a torque measurement, or a measurement of work. Non SI units of work include the Newton meter, erg, the foot pound, the foot poundle, the kilowatt hour, the liter atmosphere, and the horsepower hour, due to work having the same physical dimension as heat. Occasionally, measurement units units typically reserved for heat or energy content, such as therm, BTU and calorie, are utilized as a measuring unit. <laughs> <laughs> Work and energy The work W done by a constant force of magnitude f display style f on a point that moves a displacement s display style s in a straight line in the direction of the force as the product w equals f s Display style W equals F's. For example, if a force of ten newtons F display style F equals ten N acts along a point that travels two meters S display style S equals two meters, then W equals F S equals ten N two M equals twenty J Display style W equals F's equals ten N two M equals twenty J this is approximately the work done lifting a 1 kg object from ground level to over a person's head against the force of gravity. The work is doubled either by lifting twice the weight the same distance or by lifting the same weight twice the distance. Work is closely related to energy. The work energy principle states that an increase in the kinetic energy of a rigid body is caused by an equal amount of positive work done on the body by the resultant force acting on that body. Conversely, a decrease in kinetic energy is caused by an equal amount of negative work done by the resultant force. 
From Newton's second law, it can be shown that work on a free no fields, rigid no internal degrees of freedom body, is equal to the change in kinetic energy K E K of the linear velocity and angular velocity of that body W equals delta K E display style W equals delta K the work of forces generated by a potential function is known as potential energy and the forces are said to be conservative. Therefore, work on an object that is merely displaced in a conservative force field, without change in velocity or rotation, is equal to minus the change of potential energy. P E of the object w equals minus delta p e display style w equals delta p e these formulas show that work is the energy associated with the action of a force, so work subsequently possesses the physical dimensions and units of energy the work energy principles discussed here are identical to electric work energy principles. Topic: <laughs> Constraint forces. Constraint forces limit the movement of components in a system, such as constraining an object to a surface in the case of a slope plus gravity, the object is stuck to the slope, when attached to a taut string it cannot move in an outwards direction to make the string any tauter. .Constraint forces restrict the velocity in the direction of the constraint to zero, which means the constraint forces do not perform work on the system. For a mechanical system, constraint forces eliminate movement in directions that characterize the constraint. Thus constraint forces do not perform work on the system, because the component of velocity along the constraint force at each point of application is zero. For example, in a pulley system like the Atwood machine, the internal forces on the rope and at the supporting pulley do no work on the system. Therefore work need only be computed for the gravity forces acting on the bodies. For example, the centripetal force exerted inwards by a string on a ball in uniform circular motion sideways constrains the ball to circular motion restricting its movement away from the center of the circle. This force does zero work because it is perpendicular to the velocity of the ball. Another example is a book on a table. If external forces are applied to the book so that it slides on the table, then the force exerted by the table constrains the book from moving downwards. The force exerted by the table supports the book and is perpendicular to its movement which means that this constraint force does not perform work. The magnetic force on a charged particle is F equals q v times v, where q is the charge, v is the velocity of the particle, and b is the magnetic field. The result of a cross product is always perpendicular to both of the original vectors, so f v. The dot product of two perpendicular vectors is always zero, so the work w equals f v equals zero, and the magnetic force does not do work. It can change the direction of motion but never change the speed. Mathematical calculation equals 
For moving objects, the quantity of work time power is integrated along the trajectory of the point of application of the force. Thus, at any instant, the rate of the work done by a force measured in joule per second or watts is the scalar product of the force of vector and the velocity vector of the point of application. This scalar product of force and velocity is known as instantaneous power. Just as velocities may be integrated over time to obtain a total distance, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, the total work along a path is similarly the time integral of instantaneous power applied along the trajectory of the point of application. Work is the result of a force on a point that follows a curve x, with a velocity v, at each instant. The small amount of work delta w that occurs over an instant of time dt is calculated as delta w equals f d s equals f v d t Display style delta W equals Math BF F C D O T D Math BF S equals Math BF F C D O T Math BF V D T where the F V is the power over the instant D T. The sum of these small amounts of work over the trajectory of the point yields the work W equals T one T two F V D T equals T one T two F D S D T D T equals C F D S Display style W equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF F C D O T Math BF V D T equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF F C D O T T F R A C D Math BF S D T D T equals int underscore C Math BF F C D O T D Math BF S Where C is the trajectory from X T one to X T two. This integral is computed along the trajectory of the particle, and is therefore said to be path dependent. If the force is always directed along this line, and the magnitude of the force is F, then this integral simplifies to W equals C F D S display style W equals int underscore C F D S, where S is displacement along the line. If F is constant, in addition to being directed along the line, then the integral simplifies further to W equals C F D S equals F C D S equals F S Display style W equals int underscore C F D S equals F int underscore C D S equals F's where S is the displacement of the point along the line. 
This calculation can be generalized for a constant force that is not directed along the line, followed by the particle. In this case the dot product F dS equals F cos theta dS, where theta is the angle between the force vector and the direction of movement, that is W equals C F D S equals F S cos theta display style w equals int underscore c math b f f c d o t d math b f s equals f s cos theta in the notable case of a force applied to a body always at an angle of 90 degrees from the velocity vector as when a body moves in a circle under a central force, no work is done at all, since the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. Thus, no work can be performed by gravity on a planet with a circular orbit this is ideal, as all orbits are slightly elliptical. Also, no work is done on a body moving circularly at a constant speed while constrained by mechanical force, such as moving at constant speed in a frictionless ideal centrifuge. <laughs> work done by a variable force Calculating the work as force times straight path segment", would only apply in the most simple of circumstances, as noted above. If force is changing, or if the body is moving along a curved path, possibly rotating and not necessarily rigid, then only the path of the application point of the force is relevant for the work done, and only the component of the force parallel to the application point velocity is doing work positive work when in the same direction, and negative when in the opposite direction of the velocity. This component of force can be described by the scalar quantity called scalar tangential component F cos theta display style script style F cos theta where theta display style script style theta is the angle between the force and the velocity and then the most general definition of work can be formulated as follows Work of a force is the line integral of its scalar tangential component along the path of its application point. If the force varies e compressing a spring, we need to use calculus to find the work done. If the force is given by f x a function of x, then the work done by the force along the x-axis from a to b is w equals a b f s d s Display style w equals int limits underscore a caret b math b f f s c d o t d math b f s. Topic: Torque and rotation. A force couple results from equal and opposite forces acting on two different points of a rigid body. The sum resultant of these forces may cancel, but their effect on the body is the couple or torque T. The work of the torque is calculated as D W equals T omega D T. Display style D W equals Math B F T C D O T V E C Omega D T where the T omega is the power over the instant delta T. 
The sum of these small amounts of work over the trajectory of the rigid body yields the work W equals T one T two T Omega D T Display style W equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF T C D O T V E C Omega D T This integral is computed along the trajectory of the rigid body with an angular velocity omega that varies with time, and is therefore said to be path dependent. If the angular velocity vector maintains a constant direction, then it takes the form omega equals phi s display style vec omega equals dot phi math bf s, where phi is the angle of rotation about the constant unit vector s. In this case, the work of the torque becomes W equals T one T two T Omega D T equals T one T Two T S D Phi D T D T equals C T S D Phi Display style W equals in underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF T C D O T V E C Omega D T equals in underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF T C D O T Math BF S F R A C D Phi D T D T equals in underscore C Math BF T C D O T Math BF S D Phi Where C is the trajectory from Phi T one to Phi T two. This integral depends on the rotational trajectory Phi T, and is therefore path dependent. If the torque T is aligned with the angular velocity vector so that T equals tau s display style math bf t equals tau math bf s and both the torque and angular velocity are constant then the work takes the form w equals t 1 t 2 Tau Phi D T equals Tau Phi two minus Phi one Display style W equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two tau dot phi D T equals tau phi underscore two phi underscore one. This result can be understood more simply by considering the torque as arising from a force of constant magnitude f, being applied perpendicularly to a lever arm at a distance r, as shown in the figure. This force will act through the distance along the circular arc s equals r phi, so the work done is w equals f s equals f 
R Phi Display style W equals F equals F R Phi Introduce the torque tau equals F R to obtain W equals F R Phi equals tau phi display style w equals fr phi equals tau phi as presented above notice that only the component of torque in the direction of the angular velocity vector contributes to the work topic Work and potential energy The scalar product of a force F and the velocity V of its point of application defines the power input to a system at an instant of time. Integration of this power over the trajectory of the point of application, C equals x t defines the work input to the system by the force equals topic path dependence equals Therefore, the work done by a force F on an object that travels along a curve C is given by the line integral W equals C F D X equals T one T two F V D T Display style W equals int underscore C Math BF F C D O T D Math BF X equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF F C D O T Math BF V D T where dx t defines the trajectory C and V as the velocity along this trajectory. In general this integral requires the path along which the velocity is defined, so the evaluation of work is said to be path dependent. The time derivative of the integral for work yields the instantaneous power d w d t equals p t equals f v display style frac dw dt equals p t equals math bf f c d o t math bf v topic path independence If the work for an applied force is independent of the path, then the work done by the force, by the gradient theorem, defines a potential function which is evaluated at the start and end of the trajectory of the point of application. This means that there is a potential function u x that can be evaluated at the two points x t1 and x t2 to obtain the work over any trajectory between these two points. It is tradition to define this function with a negative sign so that positive work is a reduction in the potential. That is, w equals c f d x equals x t 1 x t 2 f d x equals u x t 
1 minus u x t 2 Display style W equals int underscore C Math BF F C D O T Mathem D Math BF X equals int underscore Math BF X T underscore one carrot Math BF X T underscore two Math BF F C D O T Mathem D Math BF X equals U Math BF X T underscore one U Math BF X T underscore two. The function U X is called the potential energy associated with the applied force. The force derived from such a potential function is said to be conservative. Examples of forces that have potential energies are gravity and spring forces. In this case, the gradient of work yields. W equals minus U equals minus U X U Y U Z equals F Display style nabla w equals nabla u equals left frac partial u partial x frac partial u partial y frac partial u partial z right equals math bff, and the force f is said to be derivable from a potential because the potential U defines a force F at every point X in space, the set of forces is called a force field. The power applied to a body by a force field is obtained from the gradient of the work, or potential, in the direction of the velocity V of the body, that is P T equals minus U V equals F V display style P T equals nabla U C D O T math B F V equals math B F F C D O T math B F V topic work by gravity. In the absence of other forces, gravity results in a constant downward acceleration of every freely moving object. Near Earth's surface the acceleration due to gravity is g topic 9.8 meters s minus 2 and the gravitational force on an object of mass m is fg mg. It is convenient to imagine this gravitational force concentrated at the center of mass of the object. If an object is displaced upwards or downwards a vertical distance y2 minus y1, the work w done on the object by its weight mg is w equals f g Y two minus Y one equals F G delta Y equals minus M G delta Y Display style W equals F underscore G Y underscore two Y underscore one equals F underscore G delta Y equals M G delta Y 
where Fg is weight pounds in imperial units, and newtons in SI units, and delta y is the change in height y. Notice that the work done by gravity depends only on the vertical movement of the object. The presence of friction does not affect the work done on the object by its weight. Topic: <laughs> Work by gravity in space. The force of gravity exerted by a mass m on another mass m is given by F equals minus G M M R three R Displaced tile math BF F equals FRAC GMM R carrot three math BF R where R is the position vector from M to M. Let the mass m move at the velocity v then the work of gravity on this mass as it moves from position r t1 to r t2 is given by w equals minus r t1 r t2 G M M R three R D R equals minus T one T two G M M R three R V D T Display style W equals int underscore Math BF R T underscore one carrot Math BF R T underscore two F R A C G M M R carrot three Math BF R C D O T D Math BF R equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two F R A C G M M R carrot three Math Math BF R C D O T Math BF V D T Notice that the position and velocity of the mass M are given by R equals R E R V equals R E R plus R theta E T Display style Math BF R equals R Math BF E underscore R Q quad Math BF V equals dot R Math BF E underscore R plus R dot theta Math BF E underscore T where R and ED are the radial and tangential unit vectors directed relative to the vector from M to M. Use this to simplify the formula for work of gravity to W equals minus T one T two G M M R three R E R R E R plus R theta E T D T equals Minus T one 
T two G M M R three R R D T equals G M M R T two minus G M M R T one Display style W equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two FRAC GMM R carrot three R Math BF E underscore R C D O T dot R Math BF E underscore R plus R dot theta Math BF E underscore T DT equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T Underscore two FRAC GMM R carrot three R dot R DT equals FRAC GMM R T underscore two FRAC GMM R T underscore one. This calculation uses the fact that D D T R Minus one equals minus R minus two R equals minus R R two Display style FRAC D D T R carrot minus one equals R carrot minus two dot R equals FRAC dot R R carrot two The function U equals minus G M M R Display style U equals FRAC GMM R is the gravitational potential function, also known as gravitational potential energy. The negative sign follows the convention that work is gained from a loss of potential energy. Topic: Work by a spring. Consider a spring that exerts a horizontal force F. Topic minus k x zero zero that is proportional to its deflection in the x direction, independent of how a body moves. The work of this spring on a body moving along the space with the curve x t. X T Y T Z T is calculated using its velocity V equals V X V Y V Z to obtain W equals zero T F V D T equals minus Zero T K X V X D T equals minus one two K X two 
Display style W equals int underscore zero carrot T Math BF F C D O T Math BF V D T equals int underscore zero carrot T K X V underscore X D T equals F R A C one two K X carrot two for convenience, consider contact with the spring occurs at t equals zero, then the integral of the product of the distance x and the x velocity, x v x, is one half x two. The velocity is not a factor here. The work is the product of the distance times the spring force, which is also dependent on distance, hence the x two result. Topic: Work by a gas. W equals a b p d v. Display style W equals int underscore a caret b p d v where P is pressure, V is volume, and A and B are initial and final volumes. <laughs> <laughs> Work energy principle The principle of work and kinetic energy, also known as the work energy principle, states that the work done by all forces acting on a particle, the work of the resultant force equals the change in the kinetic energy of the particle. That is the work W done by the resultant force on a particle equals the change in the particle's kinetic energy. E K Display style E underscore K W equals Delta E K equals one two M V two two minus one Two M V one two Display style W equals Delta E underscore K equals TFRAC one two M V underscore two carrot two TFRAC one two M V underscore one carrot two where V one display style v underscore one and v two display style v underscore two are the speeds of the particle before and after the work is done, and m is its mass. The derivation of the work energy principle begins with Newton's second law of motion and the resultant force on a particle. Computation of the scalar product of the forces with the velocity of the particle evaluates the instantaneous power added to the system. Constraints define the direction of movement of the particle by ensuring there is no component of velocity in the direction of the constraint force. This also means the constraint forces do not add to the instantaneous power. The time integral of this scalar equation yields work from the instantaneous power, and kinetic energy from the scalar product of velocity and acceleration. The fact the work energy principle eliminates the constraint forces underlies Lagrangian mechanics. This section focuses on the work energy principle as it applies to particle dynamics. In more general systems, work can change the potential energy of a mechanical device, the thermal energy in a thermal system, or the electrical energy in an electrical device. Work transfers energy from one place to another or one form to another. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Derivation for a particle moving along a straight line. In the case the resultant force F is constant in both magnitude and direction, and parallel to the velocity of the particle, the particle is moving with constant acceleration along a straight line. The relation between the net force and the acceleration is given by the equation F equals Ma Newton's second law, and the particle displacement S can be expressed by the equation S equals V two two minus V one two two a display style S equals FRAC V underscore two carrot two V underscore one carrot two two A which follows from v 2 2 equals v 1 2 plus 2 a s Display style v underscore two carrot two equals v underscore one carrot two plus two as c equations of motion. The work of the net force is calculated as the product of its magnitude and the particle displacement. Substituting the above equations, one obtains w equals F S equals M A S equals M A V two two minus V one two two equals M V two 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 minus M V one two two equals Delta E K Display style W equals F equals Moss equals Ma left FRAC V underscore two carrot two V underscore one carrot two two A right equals FRAC MV underscore two carrot two two FRAC MV underscore one carrot two two equals Delta E underscore K Other derivation W equals F S equals M A S equals M V two two minus V one two Two S S display style W equals F equals Moss equals M left frac V underscore two carrot two V underscore one carrot two twos right S W equals M zero two two Minus V one two two S S Display style W equals M left FRAC zero underscore two carrot two V underscore one carrot two twos right S W 
equals minus one two M V two Display style W equals FRAC one two M V carrot two Vertical displacement derivation W Topic F times S MG times H in the general case of rectilinear motion, when the net force F is not constant in magnitude, but is constant in direction, and parallel to the velocity of the particle, the work must be integrated along the path of the particle. W equals T 1 T 2 F V D T equals T one T two F V D T equals T one T two M A V D T equals M T one T two V D V D T D T equals M V one V two V D V equals one two M V two Two minus V one two Display style W equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF F C D O T Math BF V D T equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two F V D T equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Ma V D T equals M int underscore T T underscore one carrot T underscore two V D V over D T D T equals M int underscore V underscore one carrot V underscore two V D V equals T F R A C one two M V underscore two carrot two V underscore one carrot two Topic: General derivation of the work energy theorem for a particle. For any net force acting on a particle moving along any curvilinear path, it can be demonstrated that its work equals the change in the kinetic energy of the particle by a simple derivation analogous to the equation above. Some authors call this result work energy principle, but it is more widely known as the work energy theorem. W equals T one T two F V D T equals M T one T two a V D T equals 
M two T one T two D V two D T D T equals M two V one two V two two D V two equals M V two 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 minus M V one two two equals Delta E K Display style W equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF F C D O T Math BF V D T equals M int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF a C D O T Math BF V D T equals F R A C M two int underscore T underscore one one carrot T underscore two FRAC DV carrot two DT DT equals FRAC M two int underscore V underscore one carrot two carrot V underscore two carrot two DV carrot two equals FRAC MV underscore two carrot two two FRAC MV underscore one carrot two two equals delta e underscore k the identity a v equals 1 2 d v 2 d t Display style text style math bf a c d o t math bf v equals frac one two frac d v caret two d t requires some algebra from the identity v two equals v v Display style text style v caret two equals math bf v c d o t math bf v and definition a equals d v d t Display style text style math bf a equals frac d math bf v dt. It follows d v two d t equals d v v d T equals D V D T V plus V D V D T equals two D V D T V equals two a V 
Display style FRAC DV carrot two DT equals FRAC D Math BF V C D O T Math BF V DT equals FRAC D Math BF V DT C D O T Math BF V plus Math BF V C D O T FRAC D Math BF V DT equals two FRAC D Math BF V DT C D O T Math BF V equals two Math BF A C D O T Math BF V the remaining part of the above derivation is just simple calculus, same as in the preceding rectilinear case. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Derivation for a particle in constrained movement. In particle dynamics, a formula equating work applied to a system to its change in kinetic energy is obtained as a first integral of Newton's second law of motion. It is useful to notice that the resultant force used in Newton's laws can be separated into forces that are applied to the particle and forces imposed by constraints on the movement of the particle. Remarkably, the work of a constraint force is zero, therefore only the work of the applied forces need be considered in the work energy principle. To see this, consider a particle P that follows the trajectory x t with a force F acting on it. Isolate the particle from its environment to expose constraint forces R, then Newton's law takes the form F plus R equals M X display style math BF F plus math BF R equals M D D O T math BF X where M is the mass of the particle topic Vector formulation Note that n dots above a vector indicates its nth time derivative. The scalar product of each side of Newton's law with the velocity vector yields f x equals m x x Display style Math BF F C D O T dot Math BF X equals M D D O T Math BF X C D O T dot Math BF X because the constraint forces are perpendicular to the particle velocity. Integrate this equation along its trajectory from the point X T one to the point X T two to obtain T one T two F X D T equals M T one T two X X D T display style int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two math bf f c d o t dot math bf x d t equals m int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two d d o t math bf x c d o t dot math bf x d t the left side of this equation is the work of the applied force as it acts on the particle along the trajectory from time t1 to time t2. This can also be written as W equals T1 T2 F 
x d t equals x t 1 x t 2 f d x Display style W equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two Math BF C D O T dot Math BF X D T equals int underscore Math BF X T underscore one carrot Math BF X T underscore two Math BF F C D O T D Math BF X this integral is computed along the trajectory x t of the particle and is therefore path dependent. The right side of the first integral of Newton's equations can be simplified using the following identity: one, two, d, d, t, x, x equals x x display style frac 1 2 frac d dt dot math bf x c dot dot math bf x equals d dot math bf x c dot dot math bf x c product rule for derivation now it is integrated explicitly to obtain the change in kinetic energy delta k equals m t 1 t 2 x x d t equals M two T one T two D D T X X D T equals M two X x t 2 minus m 2 x x t 1 equals 1 2 m delta v 2 Display style delta k equals m int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two d d o t math b f x c d o t dot math b f x d t equals frac m two int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two frac d d t dot math b f x c d o t dot math BF x DT equals frac m 2 dot math BF x C dot dot math BF x T underscore 2 frac m 2 dot math BF x C dot dot math BF x T underscore 1 equals frac 1 2 m Delta math BF V carrot 2 where the kinetic energy of the particle is defined by the scalar quantity k equals m 2 x x equals 1 2 m v 2 
Display style k equals frac m two dot math bf x c d o t dot math bf x equals frac one two m math bf v caret two. Topic: Tangential and normal components. It is useful to resolve the velocity and acceleration vectors into tangential and normal components along the trajectory x t, such that x equals v t and x equals v t plus v. Two kappa n display style dot math bf x equals v math bf t quad m box and quad d d o t math bf x equals dot v math bf t plus v caret two kappa math bf n where v equals x equals x x display style v equals dot math bf x equals sqrt dot math bf x c d o t dot math bf x then, the scalar product of velocity with acceleration in Newton's second law takes the form delta k equals m t one t two v v d t equals m 2 t 1 t 2 d d t v 2 d t equals m 2 V two T two minus M two V two T one Display style delta k equals m int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two dot v v d t equals frac m two int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two frac d d t v carrot two d t equals frac m two v carrot two t underscore two frac C M two V carrot two T underscore one where the kinetic energy of the particle is defined by the scalar quantity K equals M two V two equals M two X X display style k equals frac m two v caret two equals frac m two dot math bf x c d o t dot math bf x. The result is the work energy principle for particle dynamics. W equals delta k. Display style w equals delta k. This derivation can be generalized to arbitrary rigid body systems. Topic: 
moving in a straight line skid to a stop Consider the case of a vehicle moving along a straight horizontal trajectory under the action of a driving force and gravity that sum to F the constraint forces between the vehicle and the road define R, and we have F plus R equals M X Display style Math BF F plus Math BF R equals M D D O T Math BF X For convenience let the trajectory be along the X axis, so X Topic D zero and the velocity as V V zero, then R V. Topic zero and F V. F X V, where F X is the component of F along the X axis, so F X V equals M. V V display style f underscore x v equals m dot v v integration of both sides yields t one t two f x v d t equals M two V two T two minus M two V two T one Display style int underscore t underscore one carrot t underscore two f underscore x v d t equals frac m two v carrot two t underscore two frac m two v carrot two t underscore one. If f x is constant along the trajectory, then the integral of velocity is distance. So F x d t two minus d t one equals m two v two t two minus M two V two T one Display style F underscore x D T underscore two D T underscore one equals FRAC M two V carrot two T underscore two FRAC M two V carrot two T underscore one as an example consider a car skidding to a stop, where k is the coefficient of friction and w is the weight of the car. Then the force along the trajectory is fx equals minus kw. The velocity v of the car can be determined from the length s of the skid using the work energy principle k w s equals w 2 g v 2 or v equals 2 k s g 
Display style k w's equals frac w two grams v caret two quad m box or quad v equals sqrt two k s g. Notice that this formula uses the fact that the mass of the vehicle is m equals with g equals. Topic: Coasting down a mountain road, gravity racing. Equals. Consider the case of a vehicle that starts at rest and coasts down a mountain road. The work energy principle helps compute the minimum distance that the vehicle travels to reach a velocity v of say 60 miles per hour, 88 fps. Rolling resistance and air drag will slow the vehicle down so the actual distance will be greater than if these forces are neglected. Let the trajectory of the vehicle following the road be x t, which is a curve in three-dimensional space. The force acting on the vehicle that pushes it down the road is the constant force of gravity F equals 0, 0, W, while the force of the road on the vehicle is the constraint force R. Newton's second law yields F plus R equals M X Display style Math BF plus Math BF R equals M D D O T Math BF X The scalar product of this equation with the velocity V equals V X V Y V Z yields W V Z equals M V V display style W V underscore Z equals M dot V V where V is the magnitude of V the constraint forces between the vehicle and the road cancel from this equation because R V equals zero which means they do no work integrate both sides to obtain T one T two W V Z D T equals M two V two T two minus M two V two T one Display style int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two W V underscore Z D T equals F R A C M two V carrot two T underscore two F R A C M two V carrot two T underscore one the weight force W is constant along the trajectory and the integral of the vertical velocity is the vertical distance, therefore W delta Z equals M 2 V 2 Display style W delta Z equals frac m two V caret two. Recall that V T one equals zero. Notice that this result does not depend on the shape of the road followed by the vehicle. In order to determine the distance along the road, assume the downgrade as six percent, which is a steep road. This means the altitude decreases 6 feet for every 100 feet traveled for angles this small the sin and tan functions are approximately equal 
Therefore, the distance s in feet down a 6% grade to reach the velocity v is at least s equals delta z 0.06 equals 8 3 v 2 g or s equals 8.3 88 2 32.2 approximately equals 2000 feet display style s equals frac delta z 0.06 equals 8.3 frac v caret 2 g quad m box or quad s equals 8.3 frac 88 caret 2 32.2 approximately 2000 m box feet this formula uses the fact that the weight of the vehicle is W equals mg equals topic work of forces acting on a rigid body equals the work of forces acting at various points on a single rigid body can be calculated from the work of a resultant force and torque. To see this, let the forces F1, F2, Fn act on the points X1, X2, Xn in a rigid body. The trajectories of Xi, I. Topic one N are defined by the movement of the rigid body. This movement is given by the set of rotations A T and the trajectory D T of a reference point in the body. Let the coordinates Xi I one A I N define these points in the moving rigid body's reference frame M, so that the trajectories traced in the fixed frame F are given by x i t equals a t x i plus d t I equals one N Display style Math BF x underscore I T equals A T Math BF x underscore I plus Math BF D T quad I equals one L dots N The velocity of the points she along their trajectories are V I equals Omega times X I minus D plus D Display style Math BF V underscore I equals VEC Omega times Math BF X underscore I Math BF D plus dot Math BF D where omega is the angular velocity vector obtained from the skew symmetric matrix Omega equals A A T display style omega equals dot a a caret mathrm t known as the angular velocity matrix. The small amount of work by the forces over the small displacements delta r can be determined by approximating the displacement by delta r equals v delta t. So 
delta w equals f 1 v 1 delta t plus f 2 v 2 delta t plus plus f n v n delta t Display style delta W equals Math BF F underscore one C D O T Math BF V underscore one Delta T plus Math BF F underscore two C D O T Math BF V underscore two Delta T plus L dots plus Math BF F underscore N C D O T Math BF V underscore N Delta T or Delta W equals I equals one N F I Omega times X I minus D plus D delta T Display style delta W equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N Math BF F underscore I C D O T V E C Omega times Math BF X underscore I Math BF D plus dot Math BF D delta T This formula can be rewritten to obtain Delta W equals I equals one N F I D Delta T plus I equals one N X I minus D times F I Omega Delta T equals F D plus T Omega Delta T Display style delta W equals left sum underscore I equals one carrot N Math BF F underscore I right C D O T dot Math BF D delta T plus left sum underscore I equals one carrot N left Math BF X underscore I Math BF D right times Math BF F underscore I right C D O T VEC Omega Delta T equals left Math BF F C D O T dot Math BF D plus Math BF T C D O T VEC Omega right Delta T where F and T are the resultant force and torque applied at the reference point D of the moving frame M in the rigid body.